this session echo july 2022 general mathematics paper two and we are answering question number seven c and the question says given the sequence minus eight minus four minus two continuous like that these are just a few terms of the sequence the question asked is you to determine the tens term of this very sequence so let's attempt to answer this very question together Solution to this very problem, copying the given few terms that are there in that very sequence, minus 8, minus 4, minus 2. So what is required of you is to look at these three terms and try to discover what happened between these terms. From minus 8 to get to minus 4 is division by 2. Minus 8 divided by 2 will give answer minus 4. Minus 4 also divided by 2 give answer minus 2. So when you divide minus 2 by 2, it will give you the next term. So this is what is happening. So if you have a sequence where you are dividing by constant number, that sequence will now be a GP. So this will now be a GP with the first term A as minus 8 and the common ratio of the GP as 1 over 2. 1 over 2 simply means a division by 2. So if that is the case, we now write the formula for finding the time at any position of if it were GP. And that formula says T and equals to A multiplied by R raised to the power of N minus 1. So you now substitute your A, which is minus 8, and your R, which is 1 over 2, and your N, which is this number 10, because you asked to find the tens of term. So substituting in this very formula correctly, you now have term number 10 to be equals to minus 8 multiplied by 1 over 2 in the bracket and the bracket raised to the power of 10 minus 1. I have replaced n by 10, r by 1 over 2, a by minus 8. So 10 minus 2 give result power 9. When you take power 9 inside the bracket, you now have 1 raised to 9, 2 raised to 9. 1 raised to 9 give answer 1, and 2 raised to 9 give answer 512. So you now have minus 8 multiplied by 1 over 512. So simply find this, my 8 inside this 512 will give answer 64. So in the area, you now have minus 1 over 64. So this will now be the term number 10. If you continue writing more terms in this very sequence, you discover that number 10 the time is now going to be minus 1, 1 over 64. So let me just give you the mark distribution for this as it is there in the marking scheme. So the very first mark is method mark. And this method mark is substituting in the formula for finding term at any position in a GP. Substituting your A, your R, and your N correctly, you have this method one mark. Next mark is simplifying the, to get the answer that is term number 10. Up to this level, we have this method one mark. And when you now have uh, the final answer as minus 1 over 64, you have this accuracy one mark. So in total, this question 7C has uh, three good marks.